ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that often is required from uh, high school students who are learning about chemistry um, is a fairly uh, arbitrary number of 20, 20 elements. Your mean horrible science teachers often expect you to know the first 20 elements of the periodic table and their symbols. Now you think about that, 20 names, that's 20 bits of information, 20, whatever that is, plus 20 symbols, that's 40. That's 40 different things to learn, that's a lot. So what I'm gonna do guys with you today is I'm gonna show you a way to zip that information down into just four words. If you can remember four words, then you'll be able to remember the first 20 elements. And we're gonna throw them into a song. Boy, well, yeah, just because we can. Okay, first five. First five elements, well, is that five, first of all? Yeah. Cool, so let's write that down with start because there's five there. Um, What's that word say? <laughs> it says a healy bed. What's it say? A healy bed. Say it after me. A healy bed. A healy bed. Go. A There's no H A. It's just H. A healy bed. We got it. Yeah. Cool. Now, ladies and gents. So, just point out. There's five elements in that first word. The next word we're going to learn is what's that say? Canolfina. Very close. What'd you say? Sin. Oh, very close again. Combine those two. That says sinofnana. Say that with me. Sinofnana. Go. Sinofnana. Sinofnana. Easy. Third one. Oh, by the way, sorry, how many elements in that one there? Six. There's six in that one. This one here? Miguel Sips. Miguel Sips. Or my girlfriend's an alcoholic, whichever one's easier to remember. <laughs> oh, tough crowd. Or, or slow crowd, one or the other. Um, how many elements in Miguel Sips? Five. Five. Five in that one? Okay. So, and our last word is... What's that say? Clarker. Clarker. Good. Clarker. It's, it's a little bit tricky because you've got two K sounds there. Clarker. Say it up to me. Clarker. Clarker. Cool. How many elements in that one? Four. Four. Five and six is 11 and five is 14 and four is 20. There's our first 20 elements. Now, let's just practice saying this a little bit. We're good? Okay. Kahili Ben. Sanof Nana. Sanof Nana. Miguel Sips. Miguel Sips. Clarka. Clarka. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> what what point you say? Ready? Oh. <laughs> Everybody, what I point you say? Ready? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do kalaka 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 kalaka. That's the first twenty elements right there. All done. So <laughs> memorizing that is one thing. We'll work on the. We'll practice on the song later. But that's zipped forty bits of information down into four words and throwing it into a song that we know makes it even more memorable. So, Maddie, what I want to do here is I want to point out some of the tricky bits with it. Yeah? So let's have a look. Uh, what colours are we going to use? Let's use that one and that one. Um, so the first two, we've got two big holes holding with H in them. What's the first one? Hydrogen. The second one? Helium. H-E, helium. It's a bit of a no-brainer. Okay. We've got lithium. We've got beryllium. Can I just point out that beryllium is spelt... It's probably the trickiest of a lot to spell. There's a Y and there's a double L and an IUM in there. Beryllium. Okay, followed by this one, which is pretty easy, but similar numbers, which is boron. So we've got beryllium and boron. So we've got a couple of Bs in there. We've got... Um, we've got carbon, and down here we've got chlorine, and down here we've got calcium. So we've got three containing Cs. They're pretty easy because... Cl chlorine, Ca calcium, C carbon. That's pretty straightforward. But there's three holding a C in it. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. When people spell fluorine, they often get it wrong by spelling it like this. 
Bounce and spell it. Flowering. Say that all the time. It says flower, other way around. Flory. Okay? Um, I'll get rid of that one. The next one. What's the next element? N-E. Neon. Neon followed by? Sodium. Good. Now, what's tricky about sodium? What's it doing that nothing else there is doing? <laughs> Quinn, sorry? Um, it's the wrong, the wrong way. Not the start of the word. Good. The word sodium is not reflected in the letters. Everything up to here has had the first letter or the first two letters. But easy enough. This one here is totally different. So we need to point out that Na is sodium. It's from what I think is the Latin word for natrium, which is salt which is made from sodium chloride. So the Romans um, uh, allegedly used to pay their soldiers in salt. There's a bit of a, some people argue that's garbage, but that's where the word comes from, from natrium for salt. Okay, so we've got neon and sodium. The next one we've got, the next similarity here is silicon and, what's that one? Sulfur, Sulfur easy enough. Now there is another, uh, no, where are we? Yeah, further. We've already talked about chlorine, calcium, and carbon. This one here is the other one that I wanted to point out to you, which is potassium. Why am I circling potassium? Yeah, it's, it's, the one, it's the other one in this first 20 that has a symbol that is not related to the word. I can't tell you what that stands for, because uh, I have no clue, but it stands for something. Generally, if they've got a letter that is, um, doesn't link to the word, it's usually um, from the Latin or the Greek or an, an old derivative of it. So we've got two of them, sodium and potassium, that um, are different. The word is different to the symbol. We've got a few others where there's similarities. We've got two, H, two with H, two with B, three with C, a couple with N's in them. So, ladies and gents, let's go through again. Uh, everyone, nice and loud, go! Anhelium. Oh, it's bleeding up. Go again! Kalaka, 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 kalaka. That's the first 20 elements right there for you. So, what you need to do, it's no good sitting at home practicing the healing bits and often up with else's kalaka. Because you've got to be able to unpack it. That will give you the symbols. You need to be able to practice turning those symbols back into words. So, if you knew you were going into a quiz where you had to know the first 20, I would sit down and the first thing I would do would be to write down my zip words. And then from those, I can unpack that story into, we've already got the 20 elements, and we can unpack that into the, the names, the 20 names that go along with it. Right up, that'll do.